I never wanted to get this deep. No way in hell. Living like this, being with these people. But I guess this is the way it's gotta be. The things you do for someone you love. The musty smells of cigar smoke and stale liquor engulfs my nostrils. The lighting is both comforting and welcoming. Shaking, I pull out a cigarette and a lighter, but it fails to produce a flame. I try again in frustration. Nothing. Fucking thing won't light. Must have got soaked in the rain with the rest of me. You may notice the other men around the table. Frank's most loyal and trustworthy. I'm watching for the reaction of the other men. But all are too busy drinking. I'm making direct eye contact with Ray is like staring into the face of the devil. A sly smirk spreads across Ray's face, as if he's told a joke only he's in on. He's clearly not revealing what he knows, but he's found out something. Hey Ray, no disrespect or anything, but am I missing something here? I didn't know this was one of those meetings where we talk about feelings and shit. Can we just get on with business or what? Sure, sure. As you all know, the other night, another one of our meetings got cut short, and we lost our delivery man because of it. What you all need to understand is, I need these meetings. I need all your cooperation. No cooperation, no fucking money. Ray's face reddens, and he violently dabs off sweat off his forehead with a handkerchief, and then composes himself. The first glimpse of his mental stability seeps out. The television is now muted. Everyone is listening intently. All focus is on Ray. Hey. If these little bunch of law enforcement pricks keep interrupting our gatherings, then everything in logic points to a rat. And I hate fucking rats. Ray takes a quick glance at me. Only noticeable for a brief second, to know he seems to see. I'd like to make an example of this, man. Our meeting's interrupted by the ringing of a cell phone. Everyone looks around for a source of noise. Looking at my phone, the caller ID says, unknown. I had to take this call, even if leaving got me killed. I'm real sorry. If I got through this, if I ever thought I would, I would have liked to think that I'd have done it differently. Not hurt the people closest to me, or lost the ones I loved. The world is full of hate. Why so much hate? At the end of it all, what was it all for?